Hello, my friends. It is Adam, and it's time for a little live cast action. We are four days in to our seven-day clean eating challenge. All right, we've got some momentum going so far. Uh, if you are late to uh, to join up, if you are tardy to the party, don't worry. I'll show you uh, where you can find a link to catch up and go through all of the previous days of the challenge. So don't worry about that. Uh, but today we are starting to ramp up and focus on the weekend because the weekend always provides some unique challenges right we go through the week we've got our schedule the the workflow happens you get up maybe you do your 6 a.m. workout you shower you go and uh, go to work and you have your meals mapped out you know when you eat and it's a nice little flow and then boom the weekend hits and there's no routine and you have to make decisions and 4th of July is coming up and there's gonna be some early cookouts for sure happening this weekend. Uh, so let's talk about that just a little bit. You have to have a good weekend mindset. Uh, so try, you know, if you're, if you're definitely, if you're somebody that tends to mess up on the weekends, try to get a weekend game plan, a little bit of a weekend schedule or a flow where you know about what's going to happen. Uh, so you know, you know where you're going to be. So if you have to plan food in advance or bulk cook in advance and have things ready, or if you're going to be out and about, you don't need to have non-perishable items and a backpack full of water and some snacks, things like that. But try to maybe spend Thursday uh, or early on Friday and think about the weekend game plan. So that way you have a general idea of what you need to do to be best prepared. Especially, again, if you are one of those people where you do good Monday through half of the way through Friday and then Friday through end of Sunday, it's just terrible. We need to get a little more structure we need to get a little more focused, and you have to have that weekend mindset where you come in and dominate. All right, so that's the first thing. I just want you to start thinking about uh, the weekend, the weekend danger zones. Sorry, my dog is like freaking out right here next to me. It's hilarious. She has very itchy ears right now. Uh, so if you hear some dog noises in the background, that's just Millie freaking out. Uh, back to you, back to the weekend. Uh, so the weekend mindset, we've got to stay locked in tight. All right, so let's say. The, you know, the goal of this seven-day clean eating challenge is to not cheat on the plan that you committed to at the beginning. Let's say you've had a couple of bad moments. Okay, that's fine. Let them go. All right? The key is we are building momentum. All right? And I put out a podcast uh, not too long ago where I, t I, I gave a quote from one of my favorite podcasts, The Minimalists, where they say, one day or day one, you get to choose. So even... If you've had a few moments of weakness and you've cheated, uh, don't take that as a failure. All right. Instead of starting over one day, make this day one. All right. Make this day one and start building momentum because you, you eventually have to anyway. You have to take it one day at a time and build momentum. All right. So keep that mindset in your head space. All right. Uh, at the end of the challenge, I want to get another little just a little thought out there. At the end of this challenge, at the end of the seven days, so once we go through Sunday without a cheat, I don't want you to celebrate with a cheat. Does that make sense? So you don't celebrate with food. We talked about uh, putting a non-food uh, reward out there for yourself, but I don't, you know, so many times people go through a boot camp or a program that I do, and at the very end, they have this big feast, and that just never makes sense to me. It's like, quitting smoking and then you celebrate by smoking as many cigarettes as possible. So uh, you'll eventually take a cheat when it makes sense. So maybe it's a 4th of July cookout and that's Tuesday. Cool. Uh, maybe it is uh, a birthday or an office party or whatever, a holiday, whatever. So don't just, you know, I think this is a common problem. People will do a whole 30 and then woohoo, the whole 30 is done. Time to pig out and celebrate. Uh, that just doesn't make sense to me. It kind of defeats the purpose of all that momentum that you built up. So if you make it all the way through Sunday, no need to take a cheat on Sunday night or Monday uh, just to celebrate being done. All right. And now I know a holiday is coming up, and that's a different deal. Uh, so that would be okay in my mind. But uh, just don't take a cheat just to celebrate. That's another thought I want to get in your mind. July 4th cookouts. I think 4th of July is... The, one of the easiest holidays to stay on plan, especially if you're focused on whole foods and protein and vegetables and things like that, it's just a cookout holiday. And you can always bring chicken and you know, whatever kind of protein fits the bill for your nutrition plan that you're following. Bring it, toss that on the grill, and nobody knows any different. 
All right, so uh, don't use that as an excuse to break your cheat streak if you've got a good one going. Uh, lastly, my last note here that I'm looking at, um, I want for a little bit of homework for today, I want you guys to post beneath this video one recipe that you're going to use this weekend, or maybe even, I would like this even better, a recipe that you're going to use at a 4th of July cookout to stay on plan. All right, that's my challenge for you for today. I want you to post that in the comments uh, on this video or anywhere that it's posted. Uh, just post that, and we will, uh, that way we can share some ideas. Because sometimes people, you know, we get lazy. We get lazy with the food a little bit. Like, ah, uh, there's nothing I can do. And we, we, I can't help it. There's no food that I can eat that's healthy. Uh, so getting some ideas out there helps. You're like, oh, you know what? That recipe looks kind of tasty. That looks easy. I could bring that to a 4th of July cookout. Or I can use that this weekend. Or I'm going to the grocery right now. And I'm going to pick up a few of these items because that sounds great. So post some recipes that A, you're going to use this weekend to make it through, and or B, that you can bring to a healthy 4th of July holiday cookout. All right, guys, we're on day number four. Like I said, if you guys are tardy to the party and just seeing this now, you can catch up. I will post a link to our group challenge archive, which you can get for free, and get all of our group challenges and do them whenever you want to. All the documents, the downloads, the freebies, all the videos, they all go in there. Uh, so I'll post a link to that. If you're watching the replay, you can just click the, le the uh, Learn More button. I think it's that way. It might be that way. I don't know. Uh, but it's at the bottom of the screen. You can click on that, and that will take you to the archive page as well. Okay. Uh, I believe that's it. Keep going strong. Head into the weekend with a mindset that you are going to kick its ass. You're going to dominate this weekend. Let's do this.